All right, let's go over rendering in Creative Cloud. So Premiere is similar to what I showed in CS5. A uh, little bit different, but I'll show you this. So um, yeah, you just want to make sure that you're, you have your project selected because if you don't, this might be grayed out, right? You want to go to File, Export, and Media. If this is grayed out, you just need to click on the actual sequence that you want to render out. Uh, export Media. This comes up like this. And we want to make sure that the source matches the output. So this is great. I can show you, show you the problem here. You see my source doesn't have these black bars. My output does. And that's just because there's a mismatch over here in terms of output um, settings and source. So my source here says 1280 by 720. And my output says 720 by 40. So they're off. I can click on this to match sequence settings. And, and Premiere will take care of this for me. It usually works OK. I don't like this format, so I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to click on H264. H264 is the format codec I use all the time. And then just try to find one that matches. Oh great, it's got this setting for match source high bit rate, so it's great. It's going to match already my source, which is 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second, and match that there. You click on this to name it and where it's going. Blah blah blah. Save. Make sure audio's on, make sure uh, video's on. Uh, you can, I usually turn on this use maximum render quality, and then hit uh, render. All right, let's make sure that this plays, looks, looks good. You can queue it up if you want to do multiple renders. So if you're doing a big project or you're working uh, on a lot of different things, you can queue up these renders so that you can uh, render them all, You know, go outside and take a break, or do whatever else you need to do separately. And then when you come back, you can watch them all. But in this case, I only have one. I'm going to hit export, and then it starts. And it should this should fill up, and then it should stop. And then you should be able to go look at the video to make sure that it's played. We'll move on to After Effects. I have this After Effects project. Now for After Effects, you need to make sure that your this render bar is as small or as large as it needs to be. And in my case, there's a, a lot of black space, right? Because of how I made this composition. So you need to make sure you make this bar smaller. You can just come out here and grab the bar. If you can't see the end of the bar, you're too zoomed in. So zoom all the way out and move the bar in. I actually just like to make an, uh, move my play to where I need it to be and press N. And if I know if I want to move to the end of this layer, I haven't shown this, if you press O, you move to the end of that layer and then press N and then now your work bar is as small as it needs to be. Right? This next step you don't have to do, I do it just so that there's not a bunch of clutter, uh, like empty space over here. I can right click and trim comp to work area and so now I can see it exactly. Right? Once that's done, then you can come up to uh, the same way I showed that. You can go up to com Composition and do a pre-render. And that brings up the setting here. Uh, click on this and find H.264. Mine doesn't have that because they've actually changed where it is. So you can do it this way. This is the old way of doing it. But I'll show you the way that they actually have you do it now to get H.264. Is you go to File and we're going to go to uh, Export and we're going to add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. Okay, so I'm not installed, so that won't work. Uh, so I'm, I'll show you individually those of you that have CC and want to use that method uh, to have H.264. So I'll do that in class as, as an as-needed basis. Normally, you just export to that app. It comes in there. It takes maybe a minute or so for it to actually come in. And then you just press the Start button. It's already set to do an H.264, which I like. Uh, you can, of course, change the codecs if you want but it works pretty well, and that should be it. Thank you.